Hey guys, my name is Christian Taylor. Welcome back to Crayler Made, where I like to talk about all things branding, marketing, and entrepreneurship. Today, I've got a fun one for you. I'm gonna be showing you how to build your own online store with Wix. Now, when Wix reached out and asked to sponsor some videos, I was really excited. That's because Wix is an intuitive way to build a website or online store that's not gonna leave you frustrated and take you hours and hours to learn the system. Wix just works. It's a great system to build a website or e-commerce store for your business, especially if you're just starting out. And I actually started using Wix when I was young and I first got interested in web design. Last week I showed you how to build a website with Wix and this week I'm going to show you how to build your own online store complete with a cart, an account system for easy reordering, very intuitive checkout process for the customer, anything that you could think of for an online store. We're gonna learn it today and we're gonna see how to do it with Wix in today's video. So to get started, go to the link in the description below and click on the big blue get started button on Wix.com. Now, once you do this, you're gonna tell Wix that you want to create an online store when it asks what you're trying to do with your website. After this, you're going to pick a theme. Now there's lots of great looking themes. Some are flashier than others. I decided to go with a very basic theme because I thought it suited the brand well that I'm doing a website for. But if you wanted a more stylish theme with a big hero section for the online store, you can certainly do that. There's a lot of options, so take your time and pick one that looks right for you. Now, once you pick your theme, we're gonna do the basic things that you would do with any website. Start with the header and footer. Get your logo in, think about the pages that you wanna have on your website, configure the footer. We talked about how to do all of this in my last tutorial on how to build a Wix website. So we're not gonna cover this in too much detail, but as you can see here, I decked out the header with the company logo, added the social media accounts, made sure that I liked the footer and that all the information was accurate. And once I'm done with that, then I'm gonna head on over to the shop section and really dig in on how to create your online store. So once you've configured the basics of your shop, like the header and footer, now we can focus on the actual shop section of the store. So by default, with any shop template, we have this big shop section that's front and center on the home page or the shop page. So all we have to really do to manage these products and start changing the settings is click this and say manage products. And here we have all the products that are currently listed in the shop. Now by default, Wix has some demo products for you. Obviously you're gonna to wanna to clear all of those out and add your own products. So I'm just going to do select all and say delete and just say delete again and get those products gone. And now I'm gonna add a new product and we're gonna look at what that looks like. We're gonna do a physical product and right off the bat, we have product title here. So I'm just gonna say chocolate biscotti. Sounds delicious. I would really like some right about now. I'm gonna add some images here. Say upload media, upload from computer. And I've got two pictures here that I'm gonna add. And there we go. So now we have our product listing with our pictures, title, pictures basic info, I might say chocolate biscotti one dozen for clarity. Enter the price, this is gonna be $9. Now this is a fairly basic shop, so I don't need to have any kind of options, but if you're selling like t-shirts or jewelry that has maybe different sizes or colors, we have this product options section here and you can just click add options and then you can make up your option name or list, color, uh, and it will create drop downs or, or selection methods for the customer to pick and configure the exact item that they're looking for. But for today's tutorial, we're just gonna stick to a basic product listing here. So I've got chocolate biscotti one dozen, $9. We could actually, you know what, let's try the whole on sale thing. We'll put $12 on sale and a discount will be $3, so sale price is $9. Sometimes it's cool to have that whole strike through thing on the page. So under description here, I'm just going to put in my description of the item. And I'm not gonna track inventory since this is made to order. 
and I'm going to click Save. So right away we can go back to the page here and we can see our one product, chocolate biscotti. Doesn't that look amazing? I'm gonna go ahead and add some other products here, duplicate some items, and then I will be back for the next step. Okay, so now that I've got some products added here, Wix is really good about telling us what the next step is to set up our store. We can see this set up your site section over here, two out of six completed. And it says next step, set up your payment methods. Complete your Wix account setup so customers can pay you online. So let's go to complete setup here. And we're just gonna choose the payment processors that we want to accept. So we do have some cool options here, probably uh, credit cards and debit cards and PayPal is, is what most people are gonna want, that's what we're gonna stick to. But if you did want the option to manually accept cash or you wanted to offer a payment plan with financing through a firm, you could do that as well. But we're just gonna stick to these two options here and say connect me. And I'm gonna confirm that I'm not selling any of the above. And okay, done. So next we have shipping regions. Now this is interesting here because this is where we determine are we shipping internationally? Are we shipping just domestic, which for me is the United States? Do we wanna offer shipping? It's really cool if I go to set up regions, we can actually offer local pickup as an option if we want to. So uh, let's say in this case, I don't want international shipping. I'm just gonna turn this off. For domestic, I'm gonna say edit shipping rule. Um, select how shipping is calculated. Free shipping. USPS calculated, now that's pretty cool. You could do this if you want and you could put in your shipping information and you can have USPS give you an actual quote of what the shipping cost would be for the customer. So that is a very powerful feature that I think a lot of people would be interested in. Uh, I think I'm just going to stick to free shipping for simplicity here. So we have free shipping, and I wanna say allow store pickup. I think it's cool to allow customers the option of local pickup. Get the address in there, and pick up instructions, and click save. So now we've configured our shipping and Wix is telling us the next step is to connect a domain name. Now, if you're on the yearly plan like I am, you can actually pick any domain name you want for free. As you can see right here, it says use your voucher and get it for free, which I think is awesome. It takes away all the work of DNS and having to connect your domain name from another domain provider. If you already have a domain, no worries. Just say connect a domain you already own and Wix will walk you through that. I've done that before for a Wix website and it works just fine. But because we can get a new domain name for free, I'm just gonna say buy a new domain name and we'll say like dittoscookies.com and we see that it's available, so I'm just gonna say get it. And boom, so now we see the items that we have here. We have the domain all connected, so if I click publish here, just to get it going, we have it published on dittoscookies.com. So I'm gonna close this here. And I'm gonna go back to where we were here on your shop, manage products. Now Wix is telling us that we're almost done, but there is a couple other things that we want to focus on. And one of that is sales tax. How do we configure sales tax? Do we need to collect sales tax? Now sales tax can be a bit intimidating because you're supposed to collect it based on the county of the purchase. And so we could either go in here and enter a bunch of numbers, this zip code is this tax rate, this zip code is that tax rate, but who's got time for that and who's got time to keep up with that? So we can actually say automate your tax and that is part of the Wix plans. Some of them will let you do this through Avalara. I'm just gonna click start now 
and it's going to do real-time tax calculations. This is so, so, so useful for your business to not have this headache to worry about. And there we go, so now the tax rates have been imported. I can click manage and we can see right here the, the tax rate is uh, correct to what it is in my county. And actually, I think I can add every state if I want to. So this plugin really is looking out for us here. I mean, it's got all the tax rates that we need for each state and each county. It's giving us a warning when we may need to collect some more information based on the state's laws. This makes it really easy to collect sales tax to make sure that you're compliant with all the laws and not have the headache of needing to calculate that yourself. So now that we've done some work of adding some products, configuring shipping, sales tax, getting the store set up with the payment methods, we're gonna see what it looks like from the customer view. Now first, I really love that when you hover over this, you're able to see the second image we chose, a close-up of the product. I think that's pretty neat. This does look pretty good, this cranberry and orange biscotti, so I'm just gonna say add to cart. And this is a very clean checkout process. We can enter a promo code, add note. Uh, it knows the city we're based in. It's got Georgia, United States, and it's offering free shipping per the rules that we set up. Or we can say that we want to do local pickup, which is free as well. But uh, we're not going to drive all the way to Nashville from Georgia, so we'll stick to free shipping here. Click checkout. And we got this really, really clean, simple checkout page. You can see it's already calculated sales tax. We don't have to think about that because it already knows where we are based on the IP address. So you can just fill out some details here. So I've got all the shipping inputted. We have free shipping. I can click continue. And right here we can enter our card details or go back and connect the PayPal account so customers can pay via PayPal. Enter the card details, go to review and place order, and that's it. This is such a clean checkout process for your customers and I am really impressed at how good this looks without having to deal with some very advanced e-commerce system. It was really easy to get this whole store set up and if you're looking to start a business selling jewelry or cookies or, or anything, you just wanna sell stuff online to people, I think Wix is a great way to go. Now hopping back over to the editor here, we can finish out with working on the other pages. So we've got the about page here. And actually, it looks like about, in this case, just scrolls the customer down on the page. I like that, keeping it simple. We got the FAQ page here. And that's got this fancy FAQ section. You can go to the contact page here as well. And again, like we saw in the last video on how to build a website with Wix, this is basically already set up and ready to go because it knows our email address from the Wix account. So all I really am gonna to want to do is change this info here. This business does not offer a public phone number, so I'm gonna take that off and just add an email here. And click publish. And we're good to go. I mean, we basically created a wonderful looking e-commerce site once again in less than 30 minutes. So if you're ready to create your online store, hit up the link in the description below to go to Wix and get started today. It took me less than 30 minutes to set up this e-commerce store, which I think looks amazing. I'm just really blown away by the checkout process and how easy it is for the customer, not to mention your customer can create an account for quick ordering in the future, and it's not difficult. The Wix wizard that walks you through everything is intuitive and helps you get through the process with ease without having to scratch your head and just feel intimidated by some sort of complex system. So as always, if you have any questions about the tutorial, do be sure to drop a comment down below. And if you like this video, do be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss when I release new videos. Huge thanks to Wix again for sponsoring this video. And with that said, I'll catch you guys next time.